Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I want to talk about the new fishing event that will be taking place in Halo Fall and that will only happen every Saturday of every week. And so this one is happening for the first time today on the live version of the War Within. So this event is called the Halo Fall Fishing Derby. And as you can see, you want to come right here at this specific location in order to interact with the main quest giver and also vendor. So here, the only requirements really to take part in this is to already have fishing with the War Within. So here, as you can see, you will be able to learn it directly. And then like that, you will have fishing with the War Within. Then you need to try and increase your fishing. I believe it's better to do it when you already are at 150 skills points because this is what's going to help you to get all the different fish needed to get the different rewards and to take part in this derby event. So I would recommend you to do that as well. Now you should also buy this one right here, the angler's guide, because this is something that will then allow you to track all the different school of fish on your minimap. And then as you can see, you can go here and click on find fish and like that, you will be able to see all of them. So this is something that is very important for you to get as well. So with this new event, as you can see, you will be able to get some Merodar Derby Mark, which is a new currency linked to this event and linked to fishing. And here you will be able to buy a few interesting rewards with this new Merodar Derby Mark. First, we have a recorder set of the initial trading post set that was available a few months ago or maybe two months ago. So this is a pretty nice one and you will be able to buy it for 500 of the different Merodar Derby Mark. Then we have this weapon right here, which is the exact same weapon as the Sting Crot that you were able to get from the different island expeditions and that you can currently buy from the auction house probably for four, four 500,000 gold. So this is a good way for you to get it without having to spend too much gold on it. Then we also have this recorded version of this shield from Wrath of the Lich King. This is the one you can craft with Blacksmithing. Then we have another recorder hat. So this is again, one of these trading post items and this is just a recorded version. Then we also have this backpack right here. Again, we already have a similar item, I believe in the game. Then with same, we have this one. So these are just recorded versions of the big dig event in Dragonflight. We also have this pair of noculars, which is pretty nice as well. Then we have these different items that will allow you to simply get better skills with um, fishing in the new expansion, which is not really that useful in my opinion. You should keep them for all these other rewards instead. Then you also have like a few plans for cooking. And as you can see, you will then be able to craft all these different items, which might be interesting in some cases. So that might be something you want to consider buying if you are into cooking. We also have this weapon right here. And as you can see, what's interesting is that this is something that you can also sell on the auction house. But I believe you can probably fish this item anyway, even outside of the derby event. And so maybe not the best investment at the moment, in my opinion. And finally, you have the soaked journal entry that will increase your skill by 10 up to a maximum of 300. Next to that, it's also important to note that there is this achievement linked to the event, the Derby Dash. And here, basically, you will need to catch all the different fish linked to the event. And as a reward, you will receive Ka Legend of the Deep, which is a recorded version of the Void Fish mount that we got from the trading post a few months ago. And so this is a pretty nice mount. This is something that you can get when doing this achievement. And normally, you will be able to do the achievement. Today, you can do it directly during one event. Now, all you have to do in order to take part in the event is to talk to Captain Oatmeat. And here you want to accept this quest right here. So as you can see, it will ask you to catch all the different trophy fish before the Derby Dasher buff expires. And so here you will simply have to say accept and then you will have this new timer that will start. It's 60 minutes. And so as you can see after that, you won't get this buff anymore and you won't be able to compete in the Derby Dash. And so then you just have to go around and find all the different fish that were mentioned in the quest. And as you can see, they're just here. And so here we have the Bismuth Bittering, 
de Trophy Whispering Stargazer and also the Trophy Regal Doty Back. So Wohet put a really good guide together explaining everything about the event and where you can find each of these different fish. So for instance here, as you can see for the Bismuth Bittering, it's going to be in Glimmer Pools that you can find in the Ringing Deeps and in the Isle of Dorn. Then for the Whispering Stargazer, it's going to be in the Stargazer Sworn and it's something you can find in the Isle of Dorn, Ringing Deeps and Isle of Fall. And then finally, for this one right here, which will the regal doty back, you will need to go and fish in royal ripple pools, and it will be available in Adofall and Ashkaet. And so when you're done with the quest, you will receive 25 of the new currency, which is already good, plus the additional currency you will get by simply fishing all these different fish. But remember that if you want the achievement and the mount, you will need to fish all the different fish on this list and not only the three main fish that I mentioned. So just something to remember. And before you accept the quest and the timer begins, I would really recommend you to go here, try to understand where you need to go in order to get all these different fish and then try to do it as soon as possible. Because again, you will have one hour as soon as you start the quest. And then after that, you can get the achievement if you get all the different fish that you need in this time limit. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you will have the time to participate in this event if you want and to maybe get some of the new rewards from the event. Of course, remember, this is something that will take place every Saturday during the War Within. So there's no rush if you can't, you know, get everything today. And actually, you can't get everything in one event or if you can't participate because you're doing something else at that moment that's completely fine you'll have tons of other opportunities and so all these different rewards and this event in itself is not going anyway and so again there is really no rush i will be back very soon with more guides and more videos and in the meantime i wish you all a great day bye